Hi guys, it's Heidi from Create Dream Explorer, and I'm sharing an A plus web tool for using video in the classroom to help increase student engagement and accountability. The tool is called edpuzzle.com and it's free and fantastic. So let me just share my screen with you. Okay, here we go. So you're going to want to create a free account. I've got an account, so I'm just going to sign in with mine. You can use Google, Edmodo, or you can create uh, an account here. This is my daughter's account. Um, so I'll sign in with Google. There are some extra features for Google Classroom users, which are pretty neat uh, if you are a Google Classroom user. Otherwise, you can use it as a standalone account. Once you log in, it takes you to your content here that you've created and shared with your students. Um, so say I've got a video here I made for liquids and solids, I, will, I can post it directly to my Google Classroom or I can share the assignment with a URL or I can embed it um, into a website. Okay, so to get content you go to search and it brings up a list on the side here of all the places that you can get video from. So it's not just YouTube, many places have YouTube blocked so um, you can check out the videos on Khan Academy, Vimeo, uh, National Geographic, and the content right in Edpuzzle as well. So I'm going to use YouTube because uh, I do use it a lot in my classroom. Now let's say I want to use this Kid President video. I can click on Use It. It's going to pull it into this little video editor. Um, so the first option you have is to crop the video. So let's say I only want to show the first minute and a half of the video. There, I've cropped it to there using these little bars here. Um, and then say uh, there's some point in the video where I want to ask my students a question. If I click on the question mark here, it'll insert that question bar for me. Now let's say I know the question I want to add is actually not here. It's at um, right about here in the video. Um, and then I click here and it gives me three options. I can add an open-ended question, a multiple choice question, or a comment. So let's see, my question is going to be, what did you think of what kid president was saying? And you save it. Now it's got a box here for students to use. Uh, you need to click continue. And then you can add in more questions at other points in the video. Um, you can add in an audio note. You can even, using this button, you can add a audio overlay if you wanted to translate the video into another language. So there's some pretty cool options there. Uh, if you click on the audio button, it's gonna do the same. Oh, I have to click. Okay. Okay, so if I want to click on audio note, and then it's dropped an audio microphone here for me. I can move that around to wherever I want to place it. And um, then if I click on this, it's going to record what I'm saying. So you can add in as many audio notes or questions um, for, or quizzes that you want. Then when you're finished, you click finish, and you share it with the class that you've made, and click, oh, I always have this checked prevent skipping then they have to answer all the questions they can't skip through them then you click send and it shows up here as a video in your um, classes then I can go and directly post it to my Google Classroom or share the link so let me know in the comments below if you've used this tool before or what you think of it can't wait to hear from you